Proportion. In this video, we will focus on exam preparation examples of direct proportion. But before you start with this examples, first go back to the textbook. Go to part 1, mathematics textbook, y equals mx plus c to success. And from page 36, you will see proportion. First, go through the basics and then you can come back. And then you can tackle this examples. Okay, but I'm going to focus on finding the equation of a direct proportion calculation and then do some further calculations with it. Okay, so let's start with this example. Y is direct proportional to the square root. Now, this is very important because the square root, and it's so easy that you slip. A slip and that you make square in, instead of square root or square root instead of square. So underline it. Okay, so you know it's going to be a square root. Okay, so the square root, um, root of x minus 3. So they like, they like putting it like this in words. They could have just put it directly in, but they don't do that. So be careful. That's the first catch up. So, and then another thing, focus on direct proportional not indirect proportional okay also i mention it here in this pages that if they just say proportional not direct or indirect then they mean direct proportional but most of the time they will say direct proportional okay so find y okay then when x is 28 y is 20 find y when x is 39 so now first we're going to start with the statement now, I think I want to even make it a little bit bigger that you can see better on the video. Okay, there we are. So, we say y is direct proportional. That's the proportional sign. But because it's direct, we put it on the same line. If it's indirect, we will say 1 over, but it's direct. Okay, don't forget your square root x minus 3. Okay, so use the proportional symbol. It's the proportional symbol. Now, to make that proportional symbol an equal sign, we are going to put, put an equal, but put a constant in, okay, in front. Okay, we're going to multiply. Now it's an equation. So now, what are we going to do? We're going to take this values and we're just going to substitute. So in the place of y, 20, in the place of x, 28. And we're just going to simplify. That's 5k. I, I, I put a lot of steps and it's just to help you to follow in the video. So that's 5k, I divide both sides by 5, and I get that the value of k is 4. Okay, now, it's almost like you take this step, and now you just substitute that k there. So in the place of k, you put 4. So there is your equation. And I'll show you in the example. Sometimes they will, in question A, first let you find the equation, and in question B, they will get, let you go further. But in this question, they combine it. So you must first find the equation, and now you can go further. Okay, so find y when x is 39. So now in the place of x, you just substitute 39. Square root of 36 is 6 times 4, and the value is 24. It's actually very simple to get that, this marks. Very easy, but practice a few, and make sure that you can get this type of examples correct in the exam. Okay. Um, I want to do the same as I did. So in this exercises, I'm going to do it every time. I'm going to make it a bit smaller that you can see. Okay. So I want you to do number one. Okay. Try to do it now. Look at the example I did. Do number one. And as soon as you are finished, um, so first stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video just to see if you are correct because I'm going to work all four of them out. Okay, so we go in that way. So let's start with the first one. That's nice. A ball falls, and I'd like to highlight a few things. A ball falls d meters in t seconds. D is direct proportional, oh, and here comes the word, to the square, not square root of t. Okay, so let's just start. D, so D, is direct proportional to the square, so don't forget, to the square of t. 
Okay, now we're going to just go on. So I'm going to say D equals, okay, and then I'm just going to say K, and I'm just going to bring that D squared. Okay, there. So it was first a proportional, and then to make it equal, I put the K in. Now I just do the substitution. So if the ball falls, this, this is the distance, 44.1. So I put 44.1. And I leave the K. I'm looking for the K. The value of T, the time is 3. And then I square. So then I get 44.1 equals 3 times 3, and that's 9K. And I divide by 9, and I divide by 9 both sides. And I get that the value of K will be 4.9. Okay. And now, don't forget, I said, now you substitute it there in. So rewrite that. Say D is equal to 4.9, and that's going to be T squared. <coughs> So now I'm just going to substitute in that place. So now I'm going to say, oh, now very good. This is why this question was actually doing it very good. So in A, and I want to show you. So this was part of A. I didn't write it in. So find the formula for D. So <clears throat> therefore, that was my formula. That, there A stops. And now, now it's better if, I, if it's divided into a B. And then I just do it like this. Now I start with B. Okay, so that was the answer of A. That's what they want. So sometimes they break it up. And I think in the examples in the textbook, it was there's a lot of examples where they break it up in an A and a B. But in, in this one, they like to ask you directly, the ones I saw in the latest question paper. Okay, so... Now, I'm just going to start with that equation in B. I prefer rewriting it again. It's not necessary. And now, they say in two seconds. Just see that that was seconds, that was seconds. The units, I'm fine with the units. And I just put that to, and I square. And then, I'm just going to multiply that, and I'm going to get 19.6 meters. So therefore, I have to just end nice, not necessary, 19.6 meters. And that's number one. Very nice, very easy. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. I just picked up uh, that I typed there t minus one and it was supposed to be x minus one. Okay, so just correct that before you try to do that example. Okay, let's continue. Number two. Why is direct proportional to x minus one squared? Now, this is actually very nice because they, they could have, they could have said two, let me just say two, the square, of x minus 1. That, that would have been another way of asking it. And I think if they put it like this, they make it more difficult because then sometimes people miss that square or square root. But if they put it like this, straightforward, then it's actually very nice. Okay, but don't let them cut you out. It's not necessary if you underline. Okay, so I put an equal sign. I put a k. I put an x minus 1. I put a square. And now, in the place of y, I'm going to put a 4. In the place of x, I'm going to put a 5. And I'm going to square. And then I'm going to get 4 equals, now this is going to be 16k. Do you see that? Because that's 4 squared is 16k. So I divide 16 and I divide 16 both sides. And I get, okay, so I'll show you. And I get that the value of k is a quarter. Okay. So, actually it's better to write the there for there. Remember what I always said. You have to substitute it in there. So, let's just go. And it's y equals a quarter 
x minus 1 squared. Okay, and now I can start. <clears throat> now I'm going to say, find y when x is 7. So now I just go in the place of x, it's very easy. I'm just going to put a 7 minus 1 and I square and I'm getting a quarter and that's going to be 6 squared and that's going to be 36 with over 4. Let me just write it. And 36 over 4, that's going to be 9. So therefore, the value of y will be 9. And that's how you Okay. Okay, so basically, that was also a very, very nice one. Again, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do number three. Again, as soon as you tried it, and it's always good if you do it on your own first, will give you that confidence if you have it correct. And then you can continue the video and just check that. Okay, but let's start. Number three. Now, why is direct proportional? I like to always do a no square, no square root, just straightforward. But very interesting about this question. So when x is this, this is exactly the same. But then they say find y in terms of x. So they basically just want you to get the equation. They, they don't want you to use the equation, just getting the equation. Okay, so let's start with number three. Y is direct proportional to x minus four. Remember, direct is almost like on a line, the same line. And again, if I want to put an equal sign, I'm going to say k x minus 4. Okay, now I'm going to substitute. In the place of y, I'm going to substitute 3. In the place of x, I'm going to substitute 16. And that is going to be 12k, and I divide 12, and I divide 12, and again, I get the value of k is a quarter, for instance. And now, I just go and say, therefore, y is equal to a quarter, remember, it's there that I substitute, x minus 4, you must end with that. So this is a way of just asking the formula, not going further in the formula. Okay, that was a nice one. I want you, the last one in this video, I want you to do for me number four. Again, stop the video, try to do it on your own, and then as soon as you are done, then just quickly check on the video if you were correct. Okay, so again, y is direct proportional. Oh, and now be careful. Cube root, not cube. Okay, cube would have been this. Cube root is this. And please put that free that you don't make a mistake. So it's basically saying that x plus 3 under root. Right. So let's start. So y is proportional direct, so it's on the same line. And now I'm just going to say x plus 3. And then I'm just going to make so it's going to be y is equal to a, now I put that k, and I keep my 3, don't forget your 3, it's a cube root, okay, and now I substitute. When x is 5, so um, uh, y is, first put y, it's 2 over 3, and when x is going to be 5, so 5 plus 3. Luckily, it's a cube root. The cube root of 8. Now what's the cube root? It's 2. And so it's 8, so it's just going to be 2k. So I think we're going to... We're just going to make it 2k. Okay. okay. So I divide. Now if you divide by 2 and you divide by 2... Can I just show you on the side? So it's 2 over 3. This is over 1. So multiply 1 over 2. And that is going to be 1 third. So therefore, I, it's actually that I don't want the... I want to say first, 
I want to just say K equals a third. And then I rather want to go for the third, therefore, if I put it in that. So therefore, Y equals one third, and it's going to be X plus three, and there is going to be my three. Okay, so now that's the, that's the equation. But now find Y, so I just go on, it's not break up in A and B. So find Y when x is 24. So I just go and I substitute. As I said, this is really score marks, this proportion, if I ask it like this. So it's 24 plus 3, and that's going to be 1 third, and 24 is going to be 27. Now what's that? Oh, sorry. Seven is now first. And that's 3, so it's actually going to be a third times that 3 over 1. Oh, and it's such a nice answer. I love answers with this one. And this is so. Therefore, the value of y will be 1. And that's how you do direct proportion. In the next video, I will look at indirect proportion. Just to end the video, this is the bookshops where you can buy the mathematics textbooks y equals mx plus c.